Hey guys, Emma again. Look, I thought I'd do a video and I took some footage but it didn't come out particularly well so I'm doing this again just as an overview and show you what I have done. These are the cranks for, um, still hot, the cranks for this bike and they had quite a serious bend in here. In fact, if you put the ruler on here like this, uh, you could see probably nearly an eighth of an inch rock in there. So what I've done is made up a jig with a bush here, which has just got a bolt in it that bolts through a hole in the stump of plate. It's in the vise. And that's a pretty good firm fit on there. And I've pushed them on and I've straightened them out until you can see that there's there's not a lot of a gap top and bottom on the pedal there so they're nice and parallel and and at 90 degrees to where they should be it's really they're both pretty accurate and pretty good I'm, I'm pleased with that you might have seen one of my other videos that showed how far out they were but that's fixed that and what I've done Today I've got a new toy. I've spent some money up at Hare and Forbes in Brisbane and bought this kit, which is a Oxy Map or Turbo Oxy Turbo welding kit. It's got a handpiece here with four tips. That's the biggest one that we use. That heated it up in about five minutes. Hot enough to bend. It's quite a big piece of steel there. And a couple of regulators and it comes with a flint gun and some goggles and some welding wire and stuff that I may or may not ever use. And just this nice little pay located frame. So it's a, a fairly neat unit. And just the thing. I'll give you some idea of the difference between this and, and a map gas torch. About 15 minutes with the map gas and this pedal had no hope in the world of, of ever being hot enough to, to warm up and, and this took me about, I guess, the original video I shot with the whole process from lighting up to, to getting them straight was only about 6 or 7 minutes so I'm really quite pleased with it. It's got plenty of hose and it all seems to it all seems to work well. So there'll be more about that. I really wanted something that I can I can silver braze a a tool bit on a on a piece of steel for for the lathe and something I could do some some frame welding on the bike and things like that. And probably even patch up some rims and things that need doing. So. It's quite a quite a good tool for that, and I'm really pleased with it. I did mess around with LPG and a few other things, and it's just not just not up to the uh, to the job. So this is quite good. Uh, it's a big bushy flame. I will light it up for you. As soon as we missed out on that. quite a quite a powerful torch the only real gripe I've got with it so far is that these two little thumb wheels are really a bit too sensitive You move the torch and they nearly they nearly adjust themselves. There we go. Let's see. That's all over the place. There. Maybe there's some packing that we can adjust up.
but yeah, it's quite a good little torch. There's there's plenty enough heat in there to do whatever I want to do. Is enough heat in there, I think, probably to weld three millimeter steel together with, with a with a steel filler rod without any problems. So I'm really pleased with that, and I thought you might like a look. Got a couple of friends who did want to look, so this video is for them. But um, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, more soon we'll have some. Some regular updates again soon and don't forget to subscribe and to like this video and to share it with all your friends and hopefully uh, we'll be able to buy some more toys so thanks guys